Kira Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be doing an Etsy shop review for the store Des Des Vintage. And this is a gal who's on my newsletter list. So if you're not on my newsletter, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll send out a blast and ask if anybody needs anything done or if I can use their store for anything. And um, most of those come from my newsletter list. So you can go to marketingartfully.com and sign up for my newsletter. It's right at the top. But today we're going to be doing a shop review. Um, I haven't specifically haven't looked at her store so that we can go through this together. So let's first see. Um, we're going to start with just the basics. Um, I don't love when on Etsy people are looking to buy from someone. And I would love to see. I don't I, I can't tell what that is. I would love to see a picture of Des Des and I would like to see her tell us why she's um selling and I'll give you an example so here's mine and they're all different for each of my shops um so there's my shop owner it's a picture of me and my bestie who we do a lot of sourcing together we look like fun girls we look like somebody who would want to follow us um, it's run by Tara Jacobson and Tina Dutenhofer. I have to disclose her because we do a lot of sourcing together and selling together. Two gals who are estate sailors, thrifters, finders of amazing creative home decor. So if somebody's checking this out, um, we're looking for super cool things you can't find anywhere else. Like you can find out that you like us, right? So then you're going to go back and then you're going to be shopping and it's going to be like you're shopping with one of our, one of your girlfriends. Where with Des Des, I mean, I don't even know her name. Is her name Des Des? Um, I can go to her her thing. And you don't have to, if you don't want to put your whole name, like my whole name's everywhere on the internet, but you could put, um, one of the gals I know has, calls herself Jennifer Maker, like she's a maker, but her name is Jennifer, right? So if you feel uncomfortable about disclosing your whole name, you could put part of it. Um, I don't know if you have to favorite items or favorite shops. I do occasionally because I'm using it as a buyer. Um, more of that's in my paperly people though. Okay, so let's now go. She's been on Etsy since 2017, so I feel like I would trust her. She has um, 190 sales. Let's see what kind of things she's selling. Okay, so she's silk scarves. Oh, she has a nice mix of things she's selling. Yay, so she's got quite a few sales. That's excellent. And the next thing we want to check, right, is her um, stat, is her reviews. Oh, very nice. So she's doing a great job with that. So that's not something that she needs to worry about. Now let's go down through and see. I, I can already tell that Des Des is doing a great job. Um, she has her sections labeled vintage home decor, vintage kitchen, vintage tableware. She's using lots of those collectibles, ceramic pottery. Very nice. Nicely done. Okay. And then uh, let's keep going. We're going we're gonna to get back to her listing, see how her SEO is. Um, okay. So your announcement is meant to be something right it doesn't even have to announce being a sale but it could be announced keep your eyes out i'm going sourcing in november make sure to favorite my shop and come back um this is a very um like i feel like it's not it's not a personal shop it's a very like i'm i'm not getting to know her at all so i would fix that okay reviews are great superb about collection of treasures and finds this is a little bit better so i would i would put more stuff in there around the web instagram and pinterest shop policies let's see what she's doing the time i need um oh very good she has it for all the different days god bless her maybe because she's overseas it's more important to do that um perfect i like it good job that's from etsy 
Okay, she doesn't accept returns, exchanges, or cancellations. Um, I don't love that. I accept returns, <laughs> cancellations. I accept everything um, for two reasons. One is a um, practical one. If they re so so somebody coming through here is like, well, but what if it arrives broken? What if it like what if it doesn't look like it said it would? What if like they're doing all these what ifs, buying from somebody on the internet who we don't even know, like we don't know anything about her. So um, that is that is a practical reason to overcome buyers' fears. The second reason, and she could, because she's in Switzerland, I mean, I would put minus shipping, like minus a restocking fee, whatever you want to do, you can put it in there. Um, but the second reason is practical. If they put in a claim with Etsy or Facebook or uh, PayPal, I know that we don't deal directly with PayPal, but if they um, put up a fuss, they're going to get a refund, right? Um, so I would maybe change that. Now it's your shop, Des Des, so don't worry about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Frequently asked questions. I love this. Great job. Um, shipping, combined shipping. Uh, can't offer free shipping, gift wrapping and packaging. Wonderful. Great job. She doesn't have any shop updates. Sometimes shop updates are fun. And the other thing about shop updates is they can sometimes get you into this front page of Google. Um, so here's my recently viewed items, recently favorited, um, fresh from the blog. Sometimes they'll show, you know, recent updates from your favorite shops, things like that. And uh, other picks for me are very good. I could, I could do those. Um, so maybe do a shop update or two. Okay. So that's all the practical items. Let's go into SEO. So she's doing a nice job. She's trying to do a lot of things. Hold on one second. Let's do something that's one. Okay, original. Caricature all straw hat, vintage woman summer straw hat in designer covers, designer straw hat, vintage beach accessories. Okay, we can work with this because she has straw hat too many times. Too many times. Now, I just had somebody that I had worked with um, a couple years ago yell at me because she's like, you told me to use double, you know, to have those um, search phrases. Well, the search phrases has changed now. So let's see. Let's see her. Um, so first off, she has 17 characters left. Um, so original, Kirkachal Straw. I like the caps to be right. It makes it easier to read. It's why it's title paste. Straw hat, vintage, yay. I like that. So this is a little bit more um, technical. But I like that she has vintage down a little further because if you put vintage the first word, you don't get as much kick for it as a vintage seller. Um, summer straw hat. Okay, we have straw hat again. So we're going to think about whether we need this second straw hat. And I don't need a third straw hat. We're just repeating the same things over and over and over again. We have vintage already. I like beach. Um, accessories, hat, we don't need in. Okay, in fuchsia, nobody's going to be looking for fuchsia color. Um, this is just fat, like this is just factually correct. So I can live with this. If she would like the second summer straw hat for that phrase, that's fine. Okay, but now we have 44 different, um, characters that we can use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let's go see if this is a specific kind of hat, right? Um, so she knows that that's a kind of hat, but nobody else is listing it that way. Um, so I don't even know what that is. 
So let's see if we can figure out what this is. So I, I guess it's a, the style of it, but it's not, it's not, um, here we go. It's not super popular. Let's see if we just do caricature straw hat in Google. So we're in Google. Um, there's only 24 results. So, so when you see something like that, you need to realize, even though you know exactly what it is, it's like the majority of the people are not going to be searching for that. So I would, um, I would say, I would switch church troll with summer, right? Because as um, Etsy looks at things and as Google looks at things, um, they're going to go left to right. Okay, it probably is fuchsia, okay? But I think that pink is also a color it is, right? And more people probably will search for a cute pink hat than a cute fuchsia hat. All right, so now we got pink. Also, um, there's a really sweet little band on here that is blue and paisley. So let's do blue and paisley. Now, I... Um, I'm going to be doing some easy Etsy SEO, say that three times fast, um, videos. But what I always want to think of is who, what, where, when, why. And she did a good job of some of those. So she has the where, where is it going to be worn at the beach? Um, what is it? It's functionally a straw hat. Um, it's a summer hat. When are you going to wear it? Um, so that's excellent. Now we need some more words, right? Because we have all these other words, 24 characters. So now let's look and see what other people are doing with straw hat. Straw hat. Okay. And Etsy will give us all kinds of um, clues. So straw hat women. She has women's. So I would take this down to women and then put um, women's in my tags. Straw bag, personalized, sun hat. We don't have sun hat. So now I'm going to have a hat again. Sun hat. I don't know if I'm going to keep that hat. If I need characters, I'm going to, I'm going to take out this straw. Okay, sun hat, yay! Beach, really good. Fedora, is it a fedora? Could it be considered a fedora? I almost feel like it could be considered a fedora. There's lots of other hats that kind of look like that. Um, so I would put that in there. I wouldn't put it in the front. Okay, fedora. Beach hat, straw cowboy hat, colorful sunglasses. Okay, so it's not extra large. Vegan. Vegan just means it's not made of natural materials. Um, oh, these are, yeah, 19th century reproduction, so it's not a reproduction. Um, we have vintage. Okay. So now I do use a program called Marmalade because I'm lazy and I list lots and lots of things. Um, so I'm going to say vintage straw hat. Um, what they do is they're an SEO search tool that really helps us um, cut down on time because I have three children, three dogs, three cats. I have fish. I actually need to feed the fish. But I wanted to jump on and make this video because, <laughs> okay. So they show you all kinds of stuff. This is a long tail search term. We want to make sure that our straw hats kind of look like their straw hats, which it does. We could check out pricing. But what I want to come down here, you can check out if people are offering free shipping. Um, but, okay, here we go. Do we have anything else? Vintage straw hat, straw hat, summer hat, sun hat, 
beach, wide brim, wedding hat. Let's see. What do we think? Oh, I closed it. Darn it. I think I still have my carcass trawl. On. Oh, nope. Nope. Vintage. Sun hat. Fuchsia. Let's see if we can find it. Did I not smell, spell fuchsia right? Hang on, I'm going to have to pause you and find it again. Oh, no, I can do this. Here we go. Sorry about that. I panicked. You're right. Okay, so could this be a wedding hat? I would think it could be a bridesmaid's hat. Maybe wedding. Let's see what wedding looks like. Let's see what the wedding hat. Vintage wedding hat. I mean, if they're all white, then we don't want to get in there. See, I, I don't feel like that's a good good one. Summer straw hat. Oops, I'm in the way. Nope, I'm not in the way. Okay, let's keep going. Millinery. Ooh, I love that one. Okay, so we're going to put that one in there. Which just means hats. Now that's a very going to be a very small search term. But if somebody is looking for an authentic um, straw hat, then for sure this one would be a good one for them to, um, to, to think about using. So that is how I would do the SEO for this hat and for her store. So let's just see if there's anything else we want to do in the store. I guess we could take a real quick peek at her tags and see what she did with her tags. Pink straw hat, so she had pink, French. So she does have a bunch of different ones down here. She has lots of straw hats. And you don't, and, and it used to be, so it used to be that if you had a tag with that exact keyword phrase in it, you would get added bumped up things. Um, right now, it doesn't do that much. Now, do not go back through every one of your tags, every one of your listings, every one of your things. Look at your stats, see which ones are not getting views, and then go ahead and do those. Do not touch your best sellers. If you have stuff that shows up really well in search, don't mess with it. But hopefully that helps. It's been fun doing Des Des. I'll have a link to her shop in the um, description below. And Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.